so in this video we will talk about uh, how to prove uh, a statement using a contrapositive argument so the general rule goes like this so if you have to prove that if p then q so the contrapositive way is that you prove if not q then not p okay so how is this helpful it is helpful if proving this is easier than proving this so let's see an example let's say that if we have to show that if a product of integers m and n is even then m is even or n is even so now note that if we compare it to our main statement our p is m times m m times n sorry is even and our q is m is even or n is even okay now if we want to prove the straight direct way which is p implies q then q has four options uh, sorry three options one option is that m is even and n is odd the other one is that m is odd and n is even the third one is m and n both are even so we have to check for three cases for q but now if we check if we check our contrapositive argument that this means q bar implies p bar then q bar means what q bar is m is odd and n is odd so if you have two uh, two statements uh, followed by you know separated by an or sign if you want to negate them what you do is you negate the first one replace the or by and and you negate the second one so the negation of m is even or n is even is that m is odd and n is odd okay and p bar is what p bar is that m times n is not even or odd now we are going to prove this way now let's say now it's straightforward we'll say m is equal to 2k plus 1 and n is equal to 2r plus 1 for k and r some integers okay then m times n is what so this means that this is odd this means that this is odd so we have assumed q right so now m times n is 2k plus 1 times 2r plus 1 which is equal to uh, what is this uh, 4kr plus 2k plus 2r plus 1 now note that this guy is even this guy is even because this is a multiple of 4 this is a multiple of 4 this is a multiple of 2 this is also a multiple of 2 this is also even but this one is odd so a sum of even 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 and odd is always odd so this means that m times n is odd so then we started with q bar here and we ended up with p bar here so we have proved so proved by contrapositive at q bar implies p bar or proving this is exactly equal to equivalent to p implies q so the point here is that it depends on case to case uh, study so if you see that proving directly is simpler then we go for direct proof if we see that proving contrapositive is 
easier then we go for contrapositive so that's the beauty of it so if you have different methods of proof you can see a problem and you can select based on simplicity of each uh, each method which one to apply in the problem so this is it for contrapositive uh, proofs hope you like the video